So this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising weekly career tarot reading, December 23rd to December 29th, uh, 2019. And uh, in case you guys want to get in touch with me uh, for a personal reading, you can check the description down below. And there you're gonna find my website, link to my website, as well a link to your a law of tarot reading for that very same week. So that being said, moving to uh, your career tarot reading here and the first card that we do have, which is the topic of your career um, for this week is going to be the Two of Cups, followed by the next one, which represents the uh, energy which is supporting the topic that is going to be the Hermit. <clears throat> Followed by the next one here, which stand as the challenge that you need to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the uh, Ace of Pentacles. The third card stands as the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Ten of Cups. The fifth card, it is how others sees you, how your boss sees you, how your supervisor sees you, you know, how your colleagues are seeing you as well. That is going to be the Tree of Wands. Followed by the next one, uh, which represents what uh, is going to help your long-term goal. And that is at the uh, Page of Cups. The seventh card, it is what is going to hurt your long-term goal. Uh, we do have the Knight of Swords. And the last one, it is uh, the guidance that Tara is offering. We do have the magician. All right, so um, first two cards, which are the topic and the energy supporting the topic. So it looks like that a pretty, pretty big thing uh, is going to start developing into your career that does not concern only you, but it does concern everybody in there. And for the sake of the final success that it is, because at the end of the day, should this big thing um, manifest itself or rather being successful career wise, everybody wins. And uh, for that reason, uh, you can expect throughout this week, career-wise, that all the differences that you may have with your colleagues, all the disagreements, all the problems in general that you do have in your career environment are going to simply gone. They're, they're not going to be there anymore. And uh, everybody is going to cooperate with everybody. So what I'm trying to say here, um, Virgo, it is that you can enjoy very peaceful environments a career wise where everybody is trying to unite their force with everybody else. Now, additionally to that, energy wise, uh, it looks like that we do have a long term prospect for the whole company or for the whole business in case you are a business owner a to grow and uh, it will require a lot of dedication a lot of devotion from everybody that it is a part of the business moving forward so we you all have to work as a well assembled machine if um if that makes sense but don't get me wrong uh from that situation you can extract a a lot of benefits lucrivity promotions even but that is remain to be seen right now you just need to combine your forces with everybody else's forces as well so you can establish a a good team for moving forward for the uh final how can i say it a success it uh, but it's very well it could be kind of like overcoming a, a crisis career-wise crisis of the company not your personal crisis that is now the other card here points uh what is going to be the challenge uh for you uh that is the ace of pentacles now the main focus here is the company itself and that is the challenge i mean at the very start of the of this enterprise of this rather a long term and big endeavor, you may kind of think of is this really worth it? I mean, why do I care if the company is going to be well or not? Well, it does look like that if the company, the work or the business that you're working for is well, you're going to be well as well. So it's going to be challenging for you to take on that this <clears throat> you 
union of forces is actually your opportunity to um, to establish good position career-wise and to grow as well career-wise. Um, so challenging-wise, it will be difficult for you to, to, to have content and we can't even talk about ecstasy here. Uh, we can't even talk about, uh, con um, uh, how can I say it, a um, exhilaration. Uh, but you really need to make peace with your co-workers and with your supervisors, with your boss as well, so you can uh, achieve a business success. And once again, I want to stress you that enough, the success is not going to be only for the company, the job or the firm, you know, the, the, the business that you're working for, but it's going to be also your success as well. Everybody wins at the end. So the other card here points to the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week career-wise, and that is going to be the Ten of Cups. So <clears throat> Ten of Cups tells us a couple of things. First of all, it tells us that, um, how can I say it? You, you are not going to face any major um, instabilities there throughout this week. So your job is firm and secure at least for this week, December 23rd to December 29th. But also the Ten of Cups kind of um, expresses the, the meaning or it's kind of like the sense, the, the reason, you know, why you should stay um, and, and work further and more for the company or for the business itself. So what I am trying to say, it is that uh, you will start seeing that everything you do and everything you have to endure is going to start worth it or it is worth it for what is to be promised at the very end of the enterprise or of the endeavor here. The other card represents uh, how other people sees you, <clears throat> your co-workers, your boss, your supervisor. That is going to be uh, the tree of wands. So, uh, people see you as a, um, I don't know how really to say it. Well, it's it's reliable. It, it's not only reliable, <clears throat> but it is like the link in the chain. Okay, so it's someone that's this enterprise is going to be either impossible or very difficult to be executed. So you are in the Pick point there, the people see you as the vital uh, link in the chain once again that I'm repeating myself. So, <clears throat> also people are going to see you that you are pushing yourself beyond the, the necessity, that you are doing more than you actually are supposed and have to, which is going to make in generally a, a good impression that you are giving everything you have for that, uh, for that job, and that could be a prerequisite for a salary raise, uh, for a promotion as well. Uh, but if I have to pick one of the two promotion, it's more likely with the Three of Wands than, um, than a uh, increased salary. But also the Three of Wands, it does point that people see you as a someone that have the things the way someone wants them. So that being said, also the week is going to be good for you to negotiate future terms career-wise, you know, probably to negotiate a, a bigger salary if uh, you kind of succeed in this um, in this endeavor or negotiate your promotion if you succeed in the endeavor. So speak about your expectations when it comes to a career-wise. Uh, the other card here represents what is going to help your long-term career goals. That is the Page of uh, Cups. And uh, this is a, a person that we do have. Uh, that it is around you. It could be a co-worker, business partner. It could be your boss or supervisor. So that person, um, it's someone who sees the big picture, all right? It is someone who kind of sees the future. And uh, I do suspect that that is your boss, because they are going to reassign you or if yeah if you are going if you are being reassigned in this very week here that is for your greater good once again it is because this person sees the big picture and they very well know how to fit you so you can uh, you can move forward career wise uh, that person page of cups brings change okay and you are going to be positioned in the most 
cozy and comfortable comfortable place to uh, benefit from the change uh, the most. Once again, because uh, you are seen as a uh, valid, or not valid, but um, the important link in the chain into your company, into the company you're working at or in the business that you're working for. Now, the other card here uh, represents what is going to uh, hurt your long-term goals, and that is another person. We do have the um, Knight of Swords, and that should be your supervisor. Oh, basically, this card points to a person who is constantly harping, and constantly it is a, uh, um, a displease. No matter how well you perform, they're always displeased. They always want more. But the funny thing about the Knights of Swords, it is that when it comes to that they have to do something, they always excuse themselves with with something else. It's kind of like they make constant excuses why things are not working and it's never their fault. That That's the other thing. It is never their fault. So uh, why these cards are coming up? That if you have to make a side, you do make a side with the Page of Cups, uh, which is someone who sees the future and usually they talk about the future. While the Knights of uh, Swords, it is once again someone who is harping about uh, things around and uh, it does not see further than their nose. They're only focused on what it is right now. And the last card, it is a, about um, the guidance that Tara is offering. That is the um, Magician card. So the Magician points uh, as a guidance that you need to cash in on this position of being the, uh, the important link in the chain. Uh, cash in on your sovereignty, really. That's, uh, if something depends on you, well, that is, uh, that is an expression that I really like. And the first time I heard it, it's in, uh, it was in a uh, Batman the Black Knight, the movie, where the Joker said, if you can do something good, well, or if you can do something better than others, you never do it for free. It's as simple as that. So you do the same thing. Someone wants your exceptional skills, you never do it for free. And that gives you the prerequisite to negotiate bigger salary or a promotion moving forward. But uh, other things as a guidance, it is that whenever you do something, whenever you perform, people need to see that you are giving everything you have into it, that you're and craving your soul into your uh, future performance career-wise. And also the magician points to communicational skills. So talk about your concerns, talk about your uh, yearnings as well, talk about your problems, and that way you're gonna find solution to all that. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly career tarot reading, December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. Once again, guys, if you do want to get in touch with me for a, a private reading, or you want to check on your love uh, tarot reading for that very same week, you can uh, take a look at the description down below and there you're going to find a link for my website and as well the link for the other video of the week. That being said, hope we're going to see each other around and uh, until then, bye.